will discuss here the process of finding the domain of the function that has the square root or even index radical within its formula. If this is the case, then you have to guarantee that the square root is well defined and therefore that radicand or expression within um, radical is non-negative. The process consists of two steps. First, we solve the inequality radicand is greater or equal zero and then we'll just write the domain, which is the solution of that um, inequality. So the first step is to take the radicand, which is 8 minus 2x, make it greater or equal 0, and solve that inequality. This inequality is easily solved. We'll subtract 8 from both sides. So we'll have negative 2x is greater or equal negative 8 and divide both sides by negative 2, remembering that if we divide inequality by negative number, we have to reverse inequality sign. So that's going to be negative 8 over negative 2, which is 4. If I want to illustrate this uh, set of all the x's that are less or equal than 4, which will help me to write it, this uh, answer in interval notation, I will draw the number line and uh, illustrate that set on the number line. Here is the 4, and x could be 4, but it could be also any number less or equal 4, which are um, on the number line to the left of 4. And the step number 2 in the process is to write the domain. Domain of the function f is the interval from minus infinity to 4. We'll include 4 because 4 is allowed uh, in the formula.